My baby hairs are out of control. Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing a full makeup look on this look I'm wearing here. It is specifically tailored to girls who want plump and dewy, hydrated looking skin with lots of highlight. Again, anyone can wear this kind of look, but it is definitely a really helpful tutorial for dull, dry, dehydrated looking skin. I'm gonna be telling you all of my favorite products to achieve this look, prep, face, all the things, lots of highlight. So if you wanna know how I got this look, just keep watching. So the most important step in our makeup today is going to be making sure that the skin is prepped and hydrated for the rest of the makeup that goes on top. So my face is clean, I cleansed it in the shower, and I also used a light exfoliator. And then the most important step is going to be to actually moisturize the skin. Because your makeup is never going to look glowy and dewy and hydrated, like your skin is never going to look that way if you haven't actually taken care of your skin underneath and hydrated your skin. The most important part of makeup is actually what you do before makeup. My skin is normal to dehydrated, so I tend to go for a really hydrating moisturizer all the time, and my go-to one is the Clinique Moisture Surge 72 Hour Auto Replenishing Hydrator. I've been using this for about a month or six weeks, and I'm nearly out. Like, can you see that? I've used so much. So this moisturizer is ideal for underneath makeup because it is super duper hydrating and lasts actually within the skin for 72 hours, even if you wash your face. So if I'm at the gym and I want to rinse my face or I've been sweating a lot and like blotting my face, I'm not losing all of that hydrating benefits of the moisturizer in my skin. It absorbs really, really quickly into the skin as you can see because it's that like gel texture. So this is perfect for underneath makeup because you'll notice with a lot of really hydrating moisturizers, when you put your foundation on over the top, it kind of slips around and moves over the top. Whereas this moisturizer is giving you ultimate hydration, but because of the gel formula, it's not giving you that super duper emollient kind of greasy base. We want to be hydrated, but we don't want to be greasy. Especially with hot weather like we have here in Australia, you do not want to have that really slippy kind of greasy skin, but you do want to look plump and dewy and hydrated. And this is what this moisturizer does. You've probably heard of hyaluronic acid lots of times when talking about an ingredient that hydrates the skin. And this moisturizer is full of it. So it really just infuses the skin with moisture and hydration and just seals it in for the day underneath your makeup so that your skin doesn't need to pull the hydration from your foundation, which is what will leave you looking dry and chunky and cakey. <laughs> it's definitely my current go-to moisturizer for underneath makeup and for prepping the skin. And it just keeps me hydrated all day through gym, work, everything. A lot of people get quite dry, like along here during the day and stuff, because I think it's one of our most exposed areas to the sun, if you really think about it, it makes sense. So you can actually pat in the moisturizer over your foundation, over your base during the day, and it just helps to rehydrate you throughout the day. You can also use this moisturizer as a mask. I used it yesterday, just apply a thick layer all over the face. I concentrate it under the eyes and on the cheeks heavily as well, because that's where I get a lot of my dehydration lines and flakiness. And you just leave it on for about five, 10 minutes and then tissue off the excess. My skin can be so dehydrated that it actually doesn't leave any excess left over. So even though I put on heaps of the moisturizer, it all tends to absorb in. So I just pat it in and then I'll go to sleep. So as you can see, my skin is looking plumped up, dewy, hydrated, and ready for my makeup to go on top. I'm gonna to be here all day if I talk in depth about every single product. A lot of these products are my current favorites, so I might do a favorites video where I really get into what I like about each product and more so show you the application in this video. So next I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Brightening Youth Glow Anti-Aging Color Correcting Glow Booster. Basically a glowing primer. It reminds me of MAC Strobe Lotion and that kind of stuff. It's just a really nice high shine primer. So I like to apply that on the perimeter of my face. I don't like to take it through the center because even though we want to look super hydrated, we don't want to look greasy in the T-zone. So just keeping most of the shine to the outside of the face. Now I'm going to use my favorite foundation at the moment. This is the NARS Radiant Longwear Foundation. 
I love this stuff. I haven't actually looked at any reviews of it on YouTube, but I can't imagine anyone not really liking it. It's my favorite foundation I've tried in ages. I think I put too much on the brush there. This is my It Cosmetics double-ended brush. I love this foundation. It is like, what would you, it's like souffle on the skin. It is so smoothing, so buttery. It's just gorgeous and the coverage is amazing, but it's really lightweight on the skin. I really, really like it. It's my everyday foundation at the moment. This is the shade Vienna. I'm a little bit fake tanned here, so it just matches me, but it's not the exact same as my natural skin. You can see this blends in so quickly. There's no working with it. Like you don't have to use lots of special tools and blending and all this kind of stuff to get this to work with your skin. It just goes on with any brush, any brush at all. It stays really radiant and flawless on the skin all day. So if you have dry skin, that's awesome. But it doesn't slip around too much and get really greasy. Because again, we want to be hydrated. We want to look glowing but we don't want our makeup just sliding off our face. I'm going to be sticking with a lot of cream formulas today because we want the skin to look really dewy and shiny and hydrated. When you use powders, it really takes away the shine and really sucks up all that moisture. We will powder certain areas, but we're sticking with creams mostly. So I'm using my favorite contour bronzing stick and this is the Clinique Chubby Stick in the shade Curvy Contour. You've seen me use this a bajillion times. I just love it. This is like my third or fourth one. I'm almost out of this though. Ooh. So I just take it where I would bronze, which is across the forehead, kind of just across the cheeks, not under. And then just a little bit under the chin, a little bit of sculpting. Then I'm taking my same brush again and I'm just blending that in. This is a really blendable, creamy formula, but also paired with that foundation underneath. It's just like butter. There's no work involved here. You shouldn't have to build up guns <laughs> to blend in your makeup. You can see that is just ever so slightly warming up my forehead. You can kind of, my lighting is a bit bright, excuse me. Let's take that down a notch. How about now? Oh, you can see a little bit better now. For contour, because I don't want to use a powder today, I'm going to use the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Contour Wand in the shade Fair Medium. And I'm just going to apply a little bit of this under the cheeks because it's a lot cooler than my um, Clinique stick. And into my temples just a tiny bit on the jaw. This will look more like a shadow than bronzing. And again, more creams to make sure we stay nice and natural and skin-like looking. This is another product that just blends, blends in really, really easily. So we're not doing any crazy sculpting, just a little bit. For concealer, I'm going to use the MAC Pro Conceal and Correct palette in the shade Light because I want to use this pink kind of peachy shade here to correct under my eyes. I don't always correct, but I just feel a little bit dark under there right now. So I'm going to just apply a little bit of this pinky, pinky peach shade to counteract that blue darkness underneath my eye. And again, this is another really creamy emollient formula so it won't cause any dryness to the skin. For concealer, I'm going to use the Makeup Forever Full Cover Concealer. It's a really good coverage concealer, but it's a very creamy formula. Again, this is the running theme. Really creamy hydrating formulas is key. So you don't need much of this. A little goes a long way, but it gives great coverage. So I'm just going to apply that with the other end of my It Cosmetics brush, best brush in the world, and it's slightly lighter than my foundation, just to brighten up under the eyes. I'm gonna take that in a kind of triangular shape down beside the nose to really bring light and brightness to the center of my face. We don't wanna be looking dull and dark. And I like to take a little bit up onto my brow bone as well where I get some pigmentation. Just putting on some lip balm. This is the Sicily Nutri Nutritive Lip Balm. Comfort Extreme. 
and it's just a really hydrating lip balm. It's very expensive, but it is very, very good. It really lasts on the lips. If you put it on at night, you'll still feel it there in the morning. I don't want my skin to look powdery and matte, but I do want to set my concealer underneath my eyes. So I'm going to use the Laura Mercier Secret Brightening Powder. This is a really fine powder for setting underneath your eyes, and it's got kind of like a reflect to it as well so it really brightens underneath the eyes you're not going to look really flat and matte i'm just applying that with a little brush this is from mecca cosmetica it's a contour brush but i actually really like the shape of it for under the eyes so anything you have similar i like to just pat in really quickly with my finger where i crease i just crease no matter what because i have fine lines under my eyes but if you just pat in the product quickly where it's settled and then set you can get rid of that crease line. I'm literally on my very last bit of this powder. I need to get a new one. That just shows it's good, right? I'm just using whatever is left in the lid to pat down in the center of my face. This will just set those areas. Take away that ugly shine without actually making us look super duper matte. Oh, there we go. For blush, going with cream again, ovs, and this is the Fenty Matchsticks in the shade Ridic. I love all of these like gangster names, even though I'm probably the least gangster person in the world, but we can dream. And I'm going to actually apply it to the back of my hand because the pigment can be quite intense. So to the back of my hand, and then using my foundation brush, just slightly pick up some of that product and then I'm going to pat it in just here and this will just bring a really nice youthful kind of radiance to the face I think blush can make you look so young just applying it kind of close into the nose but not actually disrupting the concealer here I love having this brush on hand because if I do take it up too high the concealer is kind of left over on the end of my brush. So yeah, I like to take my blush all the way back and I think that looks very nice. What's your favorite Fenty product that you've tried? There are so many and everyone's raving about so many different products. What's your favorite? I'm going to use some cream highlight as well on the tops of the cheeks. This is my fave. I think I've shown it to you before. It's the Marc Jacobs Spotlight Glow Stick. It's just amazing and there's so much product in here, you never go through it. I put it on like my shoulders, my legs, my collarbones, everywhere and it also works really nicely on the face, obviously. I'm going to apply it with a beauty blender to make sure it's really nice and seamless and blend it in on top of the cheeks. My beauty blender has gone just a little dry since I wet it, so I'm just wetting it with Fix Plus. And then I'm going to pick the product up out of the bullet. Would you call this a bullet? It's a very thick bullet? I don't know and I'm going to bounce that on the high points of my cheekbones and slightly up onto the brow bone and eyebrow. And you can see it starts to create a really nice natural looking shine. But in saying that, I'm gonna put on some powder highlight over the top anyway because I love being over the top with my highlight. Try and stop me little bit on the nose, just whatever's on the booty blender. Okay, I've just thrown on a brow because I don't want this to be too eye heavy or instructional focused. It really is about the glowy, hydrated skin. That's what we're focusing on today. But I'm gonna throw on a really quick eye for you, which actually complements the look really well, but it's not too crazy. Using the Marc Jacobs Iconic Palette in the shade Scandalust, these palettes are insane I love them <laughs> I'm just taking the kind of neutral contour -y shade on a fluffy brush this is a Zoeva looks soft crease and I'm just dragging that through my crease really really quickly just to create some definition nothing mage nothing mage at all these eyeshadows are amazing they blend so nicely I feel like a small child could make these eyeshadows look good, which is the sign of a great eyeshadow. If you gotta sit there all day blending and trying to make it work, it's not a good formula. If you can make it look good in two seconds, great formula. So that is just to create a little bit 
of contour on the eye. And then I'm taking this Stila, what's it called? Shimmer and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow, which is amazing. The shade is Jezebel. It's like a rose gold kind of kitten shade. Do you remember Stila Kitten? Still love that. And I'm just slopping that on the lid. One eye at a time, taking my Bobbi Brown Touch Up Brush. Just slapping that across the lid. They blend in gorgeously. There is not much work to this at all. If you want, you can take your blending brush again just over the outside. But that's really it. This eyeshadow will dry down as well so you don't have to worry about it kind of sliding around all day. It will stick and set for the whole day. And this shimmery shade will just suit almost everyone and it really complements a highlighted skin look. So you can see I've barely put any work into that at all. Another sign of a great formula. Using this brown shade here in the Marc Jacobs palette and an angle brush, this is a MAC 266 brush, I'm just going to apply a little bit of that brown shadow across my lash line just to thicken up the lash line because otherwise it looks a bit sparse. And now I'm using the Paradise Ecstatic Lash Mascara by L'Oreal. I like this stuff. I actually prefer it to Benefit's new Bad Gal Lash. Controversial? You tell me what you think below. I'm sure you guys have seen mascara applied 7 billion times, so I'll save you the bore. Now I'm going to apply some powder highlight over my highlighted areas. It's going to stick down really nicely and just completely amp up the look and make the skin look amazing. Do I use Anastasia? Huda. Anastasia? Huda. Let's go get a new memory card. <laughs> I'm going to use now the um, Anastasia Sugar Glow Kit and I'm going to use the shade Starburst. This pinky kind of one here. And I'm going to apply that using a Zoeva Luxe Powder Fusion, Fusion brush to where we applied the cream highlight. And because that's kind of tacky, this is going to stick down really nicely and look extra shiny. Ooh, girl, she's so pretty. Mm-hmm. Never, ever, 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 ever going to get sick highlighting my face. I think if I was to ever make a product, highlight would have to be one of them, wouldn't it? Because I just, I'm a freak when it comes to highlight. Cupid's bow, ooh, mustache. <laughs> and the other side. If you don't like this much highlight, please feel free to refrain from the powder step, but I just love it. Ooh, ooh, ooh. I forgot to highlight my inner corners. Okay, this is not the right shaped brush, but it's the only clean small one I can find right now. I'm going to use that same shade, just for curiosity's sake, this is a Zoeva contour shader. I'm just going to apply that heavily to the inner corners. I just think this makes such a difference. You don't need to put on too much. I've definitely overdone it, but you can kind of blend it in with your finger. And lastly, we have lips. I'm going to use a few new products today. These are all by Nude by Nature, which is a cruelty-free kind of natural brand. And they are such good lip products. I have a lip pencil. This is the Defining Lip Pencil in the shade Soft Pink. I have a lip gloss, which is the No Glasses On Moisture Infusion Lip Gloss in the shade 7 Dusk Pink. And the lipstick in the shade Dusty Rose. It's just a moisture shine lipstick. So just going in with lip liner. I got my lips done recently and they're still kind of settling in. So if they look a bit bulbous, that's why. I'm not doing a really harsh structured outlined look, just soft. Then popping on the lipstick. This shade is like MAC Sore lip liner. So is the lip liner actually. It just feels so comfortable on the lips and you can see the pigment is really nice. And then with the lip gloss, just a little bit through the center. 
and that's it. So this is the finished makeup look, very wearable for every day and will keep the skin looking nice and hydrated and dewy and glowing and you won't look dry. You're gonna look really fresh and bright and plumped up in the skin. If you'd like to see more, don't forget to subscribe and press the bell button as well to make sure that you're getting notifications for my videos. And also follow me on Instagram if you're ever missing my videos. Instagram is where to find me. I'm always popping stuff up on stories, even workouts and gym stuff and everything like that. My Instagram is at Michelle Crossan underscore. I'll put it up on the screen. But that's all I have for you today, guys. Thank you so much for watching and I'll talk to you again really, really soon. Bye.